Welcome back to Daytime York Region. Life Fest is coming up. It's just around the corner. And one of our local exhibitors in that show is Dr. Asha Frost. Uh, she's a homeopathic doctor, rather. I should say that instead. Um, home homeopathy. George, I messed it up. Now I messed it up. <laughs> I'm not does, even going to try saying exactly. it. Exactly. What does it mean for those who don't know? Homeopathic medicine is an amazing system of medicine that uses natural substances to help the body heal itself. So by, by natural substances, what are you talking about? Some plants, some minerals, some animal substances as well. Hmm. So what sort of things are we, we curing? Because we've heard it cures not just the body, but the whole person yeah, inside. It does. So it can help mentally, so depression, anxiety, um, skin disorders, eczema, arthritis, and I've used it to help me heal my lupus. So it heals really? a lot of things, yeah. So before you were diagnosed with lupus, mm -hmm. had you, how much did you know about homeopathy? Nothing. 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 I was 17, and when I was diagnosed, I just sort of went to the doctor, and they said, well, I can put you on steroids and all these medications, and I just had this feeling that wasn't for me. Mm -hmm. And then when I was in university, I found out about some natural remedies to use. So uh, maybe you can walk us through the, the process. How... What did you do? How, how, how did well, I you went to see actually a naturopath at the time, yeah. and then it just sort of brought me to this journey of finding homeopathy, mm. and it's helped me with my arthritis and uh -huh. skin stuff and hair loss and tons of things, so it keeps uh -huh. it under control. What are some of the things you take on a daily basis? Uh, just well, I take remedies, and remedies are specifically individualized for you. There are over 3,000 remedies, so it's prescribed just for you. So there's not something just for lupus. Okay. So there's something for ASHA with lupus. Interesting, but how would you determine that? I mean, what's the process like so, when you sit down with a yeah. patient and you want to come up with that specialized plan for them? Well, it takes about an hour and a half, and okay. I go through everything there is to know about you. So even your dreams, your sleeping habits, your food cravings, all of that kind of stuff I go through, and it's a pretty intense uh, session. Mm -hmm. And then I sort of take that away and, and come up with a remedy for you. Uh, before you come up with the remedy, do you can, can you determine what is wrong with the person by... Yeah. Sitting down, looking at them. I mean, well, is it in the same procedure as if you were going to uh, a doctor for a checkup? It's not as much of a physical examination yeah. as sort of all of the sensations they're feeling, what makes them better and worse. Yeah. So it's really they have to tune into their body's own sensations. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Interesting. What about success rate? Is it, is it always successful or is it sort of hit and miss, this um, whole medicine? It really, it really depends on the person and I think it depends on the person's own um, responsibility on taking for their health. Mm. So, but it, I have had a lot of success, rashes disappearing mm -hmm. overnight and people being able to walk again after not being able to with their arthritis and lots of things. Wow. Amazing. Going off their antidepressants. Mm. That's so great. I mean, yeah. it's so important. Do you, do you see um, younger patients or older patients or a um, mix? A mix of people, but usually from about 18 to 35 or 40 is my biggest range of people that I see. You, uh, you have a Native Indian background. Yeah. Now, is this something that uh, is uh, embraced? in your culture, the, yes, this type of medicine? Yes. Well, natural medicines. Yeah. And in my practice, I use a lot of traditional healing medis or medicines and as well as some methods, too. I'll be speaking about that at Life Fest, too. Yeah. And do you bring that sort of background? Um, do you bring that in your Ojibwe heritage? Do you bring that into your practice yes, at all? Yes, I do. I do a lot of meditations and a lot of sort of spiritual type things in my practice as well. So, Great. Okay, so you're yeah. gearing up for Life Fest. Yes. Um, and this is your first time there? Yes, it is. Why did you decide to participate in that? Well, big, I was big asked trade actually. Show? So it's, um, I'm speaking there. So I was just asked to, and I thought it would be a great opportunity to get the word out there about homeopathy and mm -hmm. about how everybody can use it to heal themselves. So, so I'm sure people have um, quite a few questions when it comes to homeopathy. Did yes. I say it? <laughs> yeah, there you go. Um, <laughs> Easy. Um, what are some of the most commonly asked questions? Well, one of the major ones is, does it interfere with their drugs that they're mm -hmm. taking? And it doesn't. It's completely safe. Right. Another one is, does it work on babies or animals? And it does. It works amazingly well on those mm -hmm. beings because they don't uh, think about things too much. So mm -hmm. it's great. Um, and, and if it can help them. And I really think it can help everyone. And how does it heal... I mean, it's not just physical symptoms that you're healing, right? No. It's a lot more to that. Yeah, because I believe that a lot of our physical manifestations are emotionally based. So it really goes into deep into the emotional symptoms and why you have that problem. And it really heals the whole